Well, the Capitola Wharf was battered by massive waves yesterday. Just as many businesses in the area are still recovering from last January's big storms and the damage that those systems left behind. Santa Cruz County has advised residents and visitors to be ready for flooding along the coastline. KTV's Tori Gaines was in Capitola and brings us an update. Here in Capitola, business owners are doing everything they can to keep their businesses and the community safe. You can see that it's on display right here. This plywood and these supports are meant to keep debris and hopefully water out if the tide happens to come up over these barriers. Wednesday, we took down all of our big umbrellas. We moved all of our tables and chairs to the other end of the deck. Thursday morning, it was a little bit worse and 7, we were feeling good. 7.30, we were no longer feeling good. Ran to the lumber yard, picked up a bunch of lumber. Whitby also showed us what didn't quite make it through Thursday's storm. This is the railing from the far end of the deck that got taken out by a piece of the pier. Um, we kind of just get it all out of the way. I mean, it's a lot of stuff, and last year it was over there and demolished. So we're trying to keep away from that. But not everyone was avoiding the shore on Friday. The surf itself died down a lot today, so... I'm, I'm just a 45-year-old dad who likes to get on a longboard, and this, this, is, this is very doable, except the high tide. We saw surfers, boogie boarders, and lots of dog walkers out at the wharf taking in the view and even taking a dip. Photos from Thursday show just how rough things got here in Capitola. You can see sand and debris made its way up a wall of a business. That's how powerful these tides are. Another image shows the water just plowing over the shoreline barricades. The city of Capitola is taking big steps to keep everyone safe during this time. We saw nearly a dozen workers out at the shore where they were ensuring that drains are unclogged and the water has somewhere to flow. Though many business owners are still recovering from the damage left behind by January's massive storms, owners here want you to know that Capitola is still welcoming visitors with open arms. Last year's was probably was pretty devastating because what happened was um, a lot of people focused on the destruction and not on the community putting things back together and remaining open. Last year, the, I think the uh, people from outside the area believed that we were all shut down. In Capitola, Tory Gaines, KTVU, Fox 2 News.